So if you like the randomizer videos I did, then hopefully you'll like this one too, because it feeds my gambling addiction similarly. However, instead of the traditional way of randomizing the tower after every upgrade and after it's dropped, basically it's like a mystery box. Uh, we have tier 0 towers that cost uh, $600, and basically, whenever you uh, drop that tower, you get a tower of that tier. So, uh, tier 2 costs 1.7k, and then I can just drop it anywhere on the map, and then I get this. And then so on and so forth. I can do with tier 3 for 3.5k, uh, tier 4 for 8k, and then a tier 5 for 43k. On top of that, if I want to go even more high roller, I can do uh, random tiers. So, uh, this can be anywhere from 0 to 5. And while that's going to be the challenge for this one, we're going to use only those uh, mystery box or uh, these mystery towers uh, to beat chimps mode on 1-2 tree. Not just chimps mode, but also 120 rounds. Uh, and because I got a dart monkey as my uh, first tower, I'm going to need to restart because I can only drop one tier zero, so uh, this might take multiple tries. I probably need a heli pilot, a dartling gun, or a uh, super monkey. Hang on, I don't think I do one 2 tree, you guys, because I can't place any of these towers on the plot to land, because they're not military, magic, support, or primary. Okay, fine. I guess I'll do it in the snow map, then. Druid? Nope. Please. This has, like, been the sixth attempt, and no luck. Come on. Uh, does factory work? I forgot about this tower, if it has enough RBE. If it beats this round, though, I don't know if it's enough to even beat round seven. But we'll take it, we'll take it. All we gotta do is beat this one round here, and then we can... Unlock another tier zero. Awesome. Okay, so please be good. Ice Monkey is terrible because uh, if you didn't know, ice will destroy all spike files if it gets a frozen balloon. Well, I guess it's time to restart, or I don't know. We'll see if we can somehow survive to another tier zero. But this is not looking good. By the way, I can upgrade these towers. If I upgrade it, it won't randomize. It's not like the other randomizer. However, again, because it doesn't feed into my gambling addiction the same, and it's probably not as fun to, uh, you know, know what tower I'm getting. I'm gonna limit myself to say, let's say, 10 upgrades only for the entire run that are not from the shop here. So, capiche? I'd rather not waste uh, one of my 10 upgrades on any of these towers, so uh, let's just uh, survive with zero 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 for now. Until I get, like, a natural strong tier zero, like, I don't know. Again, heli or super monkey is all I need. And darkling gun. But I mean, hey, these towers actually don't synergize too badly. Because the mortar and the ice do good group damage. And then the spike factor cleans up the rest. So maybe I can even hold up for a tier 1. So from what I see so far, the early game of this challenge is definitely way harder than uh, the normal balanced random towers. Let's do some mortar micro here to survive. Uh, keep the spike pile. And yes, I can finally get a tier 1. Better be a good one. Make sure to place it strategically in case it's good. And we got 001 sub. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. If we can hold for a tier 2, I feel like uh, the progression, of, like the cost progression of these towers, uh, they are customizable, by the way, but I'm just using the default values. So hopefully they are balanced. But yeah, I, I do got to say that uh, 3 two zeros is definitely not worth a single tier 2. So whenever you can, you definitely want to save up for the more expensive uh, or the higher tiers. Although I guess the only exception being like tier 4 is tier 5. Like that's a 5 times increase from... Uh, 8 to 43k, so... Yeah, we'll see what to do at that point. Again, I'll try to hold off for... Uh, 1730 for Tier 2. Ice Factory Mortar. The new meta has arrived, guys. Alright, Tier 2. Let's get it. Please. 220 attack. Uh, Yeah, that's not good. I'll try to snipe the red balloon here. And the blue. Oh, hang on. I just forgot... Oh, crap. I was going to say that if I retried last round, I can technically cheese it by... uh randomizing a new tier 2, because I didn't buy the attack until, you know, the end of the last round. But yes, you guys probably will agree with me that, uh, that's probably not very fun to, you know, randomize until I get something that's really good, and then cheese the challenge that way. We gotta make do with, uh, the bad, whether good or bad luck we get, so, sure. I'll try not to intentionally lose if we get a really bad tower, okay? That being said, the 2 tier actually, it's not that, that bad early game. It can kind of hold its own until, uh, another tier 2, or maybe I can hold off for a, a random tier light or a tier 3. Yeah, like, low-key, this 2 2 zero attack shreds uh, early game. But the thing is, it's, like, such a cheap tier 2 that it's probably below average in the tier 2s in the grand scheme of things. Okay, guys, we can now unlock uh, a random tier light. So, the difference between this and random tier is that you will not get a tier 5 from the random tier light. The probabilities for getting each tier are uh, known. I'm gonna restart this round, by the way. 
So we almost certainly need a... One of those or a tier two. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Let's just go for it, please. Oh my god. Well, we're probably going to need to restart this round because... I don't think I can beat it. But again, I will not intentionally lose, so if I survive this round, then yes. That is 3 key down the drain for something that's worse than a tier 2. And, uh, nope, I die. Alright, again. 2 zero, zero Mortar. Man, these things aren't cross path, are they? That's better than the attack, but not by much, honestly. It might still be enough to, for us to survive this round. And, yep, we survive. Okay, but as I was saying, uh, the chances for you to get a, a tier 4 is like 10% for this round tier light. And, uh, I think the highest percent chance is like tier 1 or 2. For the random tier over here that costs 6.7k, I believe there's an 8% chance of a tier 5. In fact, I'll just show you the probabilities on the screen right now, just in case you're curious. So basically, what I'm saying is that we have an 8% chance of an auto win if we, uh, and we get a tier 5 from this one early on in the game. And again, somehow this crappy defense is able to survive up to possibly another, uh, random tier light. I mean, I guess this shouldn't be too surprising, considering we are playing an easy map, and easy maps are very easy. Wow, very riveting, uh, you know, commentary right there. And I just got a 0, zero, zero Ninja. That is very great. Luck is definitely not on our side, especially when we go to tier 0 from, uh, that. I forget what the probability of that is, but pretty bad. I also might die here because not enough camo, so, uh, dodge a bullet. The thing is, though, I need this to have camo, otherwise I die, because the spike factor isn't enough. Well, we get another chance of redemption, please. Zero one two ace. Okay, if anything, this is just telling me that uh, a lot of the uh, tier twos in this game just suck. Like seriously, I don't recall getting luck this badly in the you know using the other random towers mod. But maybe it's just because I don't have enough re rolls with this one, and I'm dead again. By the way, oh, uh, we finally got a good tower, but I'm dead to the uh, ammo's. I'm pretty sure if I can save spikes. Oh yeah, if I can survive this, I'll be so good because that ability is. Pretty good, I guess. Attempt number five. Okay, so this druid is actually good enough at popping the pink. So maybe uh, the spike factory can get the remaining uh, greens. Uh, and if so, this is not bad for $3,000. In fact, the druid itself costs like 4000 The only problem again, uh, I'm probably dead 37 if I uh, don't have enough spikes. I need 77 RB worth of spikes. Actually, we have enough. Who am I kidding? Okay, I don't know if I can beat a mob here, but let's see if I can... Maybe try to save up for the uh, 6.6k. And I do not have enough. Honestly, I might go for the tier 3. It feels like with a random tier light, we're getting tier 2s on average. But yeah, honestly, I'm getting shafted by this upgrade. Alright. Tier 3 time. That's perfect. Oh, sorry, I had no idea this was a thing, but my monkey name just changed to tier 3 for the bomb. Uh, but none of my other towers. That's weird. Anyways, I just gotta target my balloon buster. And also hope that the tornado... Or the ice... Yeah, right. Ice druid... Pretty good combo right there. And we survive round 40. We probably died round 42 because lack of camo. So, uh, I'll try to get a tier 3. Alright, so it must be camo. Otherwise, I'm restarting. And, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll buy IFR here. That's one of my 10 upgrades. I think it might be a little bit too cheesy if I have to keep re, -re rolling Because, I mean, I've already done it like 10 times. So, I'll just try not to uh, die the rest of the game here. Okay, not gonna lie, 10 a lot of upgrades might be a little bit too much. So how about I drop that down to, uh, 5. I have 5 more for the rest of the game here. We'll just have to keep a mental note of that, because in case you're wondering, why not I just add maybe at least tiers, uh, you know, modifier to this challenge? Uh, it doesn't work with the random towers, because it would eat up those tiers when I randomize to a new tower. Anyways, I guess the goal right now is to save for a, uh, tier 4. But I might die here, so I might... Hang on. Micro, micro, micro. And I don't want to retry last round anymore. That I need to, and we're good, okay. I need reliability, so I'm going for a tier 4. As much as I'd like to go for random light and risk it for the biscuit for a tier 5, I cannot. Alright, so I drop. That's not bad. It won't help us late game, but it's not bad. And the crate will give us uh, that very helpful $0 that we're looking for. So let me get go ahead and get that $0 so I can uh, become $0 closer to affording my... Uh, Next tower. I think that would be another tier 4, right? Or, uh, I don't know. There's no way I can save for tier 5 right now, by the way. I could also use, uh, uh, four, one of my four remaining upgrades on Apache Dart Chip. Just if I want a free mid-game. But, I don't know. I'm not just looking for a free mid-game. I'm also looking for, like, a, a free late-game. And Apache Dart Chip kind of falls off. And I might need to go for Apache Prime in that case. I think we're doing okay at this point that I could probably, uh, risk, uh, buying a random light. Let me just first beat these ceramics here, because they got hands. Uh, Alright. I'm doing a random light. 
How about uh Dang. Would have been really nice if it wasn't next to a 2 to 0 texture, but what can you really do? I guess I'll put another tower even closer to it and uh, hope it's good. And I guess because I want it to be good, I'll make sure it's a high tier. So tier 4, and please. Main Moab? Uh, man, I just don't have Bloom Pop power, guys. That's the problem. This is not bad, though. It's just not, also not that good out buffed, but sure. If I'm doing the math right, I think I can afford another uh, tier 4 and a random tier before 63 comes in. So, first off, I'll do a random tier and pray I get the 8% chance in tier 5. Uh, nope. Yeah, if anything, you should learn by now that uh, gambling big almost never pays off. Well, all our eggs are basically into that tier 4 that we end up getting, because, yeah. There is no shot I beat 63 at this current pace. In fact, I think I can only afford it in the middle of next round. Yeah, 20 extra dollars, come on. Please, gear 4. Oh, Ring of Fire! Oh crap, I should have put in a better spot. It might be enough to clutch up, though. Let's see, Micro of the Mortar too. Come on, Roth. Yep, it works, cool. Ring of Fire comes to save, save the day, guys. I might even upgrade that to Inferno Ring, not gonna lie. Even though it's not a great spot. I just want the Meteor attack, to be honest. Yeah, you couldn't really have asked for a better tier 4 than that. Just for the 64. 63, I mean. But, yeah. Guess we'll save. At this point. All I can tell you for certain is that I am not surviving round, uh... 78 with the camos. Also, I'm dead this round. Crap. Um... Okay, nobody saw that restart. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna keep trying if I can beat this round. With just these as camo. I need a 4 to tier 4. Please. So close. So close. Oh, I popped it. Nice. Okay, I didn't re-roll any towers that round, so I'll allow it. Let's go for tier 4 now. A tech terror. Okay. Finally something good. Like, that's exactly the amount of value you're looking for. That's like, what, a 35k tower for 8k? Huge worth. Also hits camos too, because of the mod crosspath and the ability. So I think with that said, we can now probably bank towards a tier 5. A random tier 5 here. Hallelujah, everyone. I should know that, obviously, money comes in pretty slowly in chimps mode, so I can really only get my tier 5, uh... Probably 84, but this should be able to survive till then. So, we are beating 83, so the thing is, if I drop this tier 5, like, I have to, like, it's it's there. I could get a farm, by the way. I think it's allowed in chimps mode, well... I'm gonna drop it right now, and... Uh, let's see what we got. Super brittle. That's actually not bad. It is a bit more expensive than... If you just buy Super Brittle outright, but it's not bad. I think the only problem is that if anything gets past Super Brittle, then we less do less damage to it. Like this round, for example. Uh, do I need to use Tech Terror? I'll just use it. But you see, that's a problem. So uh, let's see if I can possibly sail for another Tier 5. Or maybe I should just play safe and go for more Tier 4s. Now, honestly, I think it's more fun if we go for the Tier 5. But the thing is, I don't know if I can save after that. Look, look. 91 here. If I had to use it this round, I'm probably dead on 92. Uh, yeah, because these fortified here are no joke. Uh, we are okay, though, surprisingly. I think it's a ZMG here that I'll just go ahead and nuke. Yeah, see ya. Okay, for this round, I think I'm dead to the BFB, so let me just nuke it, everything out first. And somehow we would survive the uh, BFBs without an ability. Let's put it strong and close. First and close, I mean. I want the BFBs to pop it one at a time. Oh, there's too many, there's too many. I don't know, the thing is if I get a crappy tier 5, then I'm so screwed. Like, I I'm pretty much at a dead end, so I think I'm just gonna go for more tier 4s, honestly. Maybe just one at a time until I see something that's like, that I can hold the line long enough, so... Here we go. Hey, Shattering! That will not help this round, but it'll help hugely for 98, so... Good investment. And because of Shattering, I think I can actually, uh... Use the Bernie damage to... Beat the BFB is and then, uh, yeah. I'll use Tech Terror to end this round off, okay? Hopefully I uh, didn't wait too long. Or rather, that I have the Tech Terror ability up for 95. Otherwise, uh... This might be a problem. Ah, uh, no, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Do I need to use the Tech Terror ability? Actually, let's see. There's a good possibility we may not. And that is... Uh, very cool. Nice. Uh, this round is a Tech Terror round for sure. I'm 2k off from tier 5 now. Man, whatever tower it is, it's gotta be good. Actually, I could also, again, use one of my upgrades on, uh... Guaranteed Tower League Bloonsen. Uh, again, though, I don't think it's as fun, so... Uh, I'm gonna do it, guys. Let's put it near the back. Let's see. Crossbow Master. Okay, I will admit it's a cool tower, but... It's not very good. Hey, at least it's at the back, though, so we can kinda clean up Super Srams, that... 
detector misses. I just kind of wish I had some cross pathing, but it is what it is. Uh, well, definitely should have took the blue incineration while I have the chance. Oh well. Let's just see if we can beat 98 here. Answer is probably yes, but I don't want to use the ability and then not have it up for 99. So let me see. Protect her now, then leave a bunch of BFBs. Uh, and Crossmaster clean up. Uh, yeah, that's too many Cerams for Crossbow to handle. And this is why Crossmaster is a pretty mid, ladies and gents. Okay, I guess I have no choice but to use the Tector ability to end the round off. I just gotta hope 99 is not hard. If it is hard, I have 15k to work with. Nah, but I got a Mabel I forgot. Mabel is so good at giving us time to pop DDTs. I say that as I lack DT Palm Power and then I still die. Okay. Let's buy a tier 4. Arcane Spike, nice. And that, folks, should be enough for 99. Please? Wow, I re I'm really surprised that wasn't enough. I thought Arcane Spike was pretty solid. Well, uh, low-key jungle drones might be might, might help a little bit more, because it increases the range of the Esprit and uh, the range of and attack speed of the Tech Terror. But yeah, okay, I don't think I can actually proceed this without doing any restarts at all, so uh, forgive me for changing the rules in the middle of uh, the game. Yep. Proof that primary mentoring is better than Arcane Spike. We should have zero problem against the bad, because Esprit will give so much damage. Right? Yeah, we should have enough here. Let's hope we can actually kill DTs without the Tector ability so that I can save it for the Zomgas. And if I can beat the Zomgas here, then very nice. 100 rounds beaten. I honestly don't expect to make it to 120 with my current setup, so I consider this run a success. Everything else at this point is just gravy. At least that's just that's just my way of coping, of uh, not actually being able to beat the round that I set to. You. But anyways... This round is certified Tech Terror moment. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I have no idea what we do without the Tech Terror ability. Let's even get two of them off before dying here. Come on, Crossbow Master. Please hold the line. It's just a couple of ceramics. Please. Got it? And it's not enough. Okay. Let's buy some uh, Tier 4s. Or should I roll a random light? You know what? Let's do one random and uh, one Tier 4. Hey, Tier 5. Okay, this is great. I hope to goodness that we do not blow this run. Because I don't want to lose the Sentry Champion whatsoever. So Tech Terror now. And I'll use this money to get another 2 4 and please be good. Okay, Apache. That's not bad. The only problem is that I don't know if this is enough popping power. Because there's so many ZMGs here. It's almost scary. Like, you really can't get much better RNG than this. Seriously. Please. Please, please, please. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> I think the play there, honestly, was just to uh, delay Tector ability. Like, not pop the ZMGs, but there was no way... Like, the thing is that the Sentry Champion was doing more damage, which made things worse for us, actually. And this run is obviously not going to work because it got crappy Tier 4s and 5s. So once again, let's restart. Yeah, this one, I pretty much need to get, like, a Tier 5 or something with my Random Light. Hey, Switch up Operations. Okay, this we can target where the Marine goes, so I feel like... If I don't win this run, then I'm trolling. Not to mention we have Downdraft, which is, like, the greatest power of all time. So, let's just avoid, yeah, avoid the ZMGs completely. Unfortunately, uh, this is still not working out, is it? Come on. Tech turn, like, a couple seconds. Come on, Marine. Hold the line. Okay, got another Marine coming, and we survived. Nice, okay. I think I'll use my second upgrade of 5 on Fast Fire, because I increased the tank speed of the Marine by, like, uh, something like 25%. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that is worth. I am also dead again this round, because I don't have the Tech turn ability up, man. Yeah, again, these rounds are just brutal. So let's buy a, a tier 4. And it's rubber to gold. GG. I can buy another tier 4 in the middle of the round, so uh, please. Uh, hey, Sabo, okay. Hopefully it's not too late, though, that I got it. Okay, need a clutch on the backside here, and I can survive this round without tech your ability used. Nice. Okay, not gonna lie, though, the real MVP of this run has to be the Marine. Because after getting it, these rounds actually have not been in any uh, trouble, and there's actually a good chance we can. Make it to 119. In fact, I can even save up for another tier 5. So, all hands are up for that. For this round, I'm gonna need to attack tier again early. And hopefully clutch up the backside here. This might be too many mobs to handle. It's not like it's close to dying, but... Uh, downdraft coming in clutch. Marine coming in clutch. You got another Marine down. And I actually have tech tier ability up again, but I think we... We lose. We're close to getting tier 5, though, so I'll try to see if I can... Make it through this round. Alright, lots of ZMGs here. I think I'm gonna tech tier once again. Yep. Good idea. And then let's Shattering Shells the last couple. 
And that is a lot of mobs, and I think I'm dead here. Please. Marine. Ah, so close, man. So close. Okay, I'll buy one tier 4. Ring of Fire. Great. I'll buy another tier 4. Blue Strike. Uh, not great. I still want to try my best not cheese to run, so let's try another tier 4. Ugh. Another one. Okay, that's better. So what we overclock? The Marine or the Tech Tier? Because the Tech Tier is in a bad spot. I want to say Marine. So let me wait for the new Marine spawn and then overclock that one. Found you. And let's see if that's enough to clutch up now. Come on. I have another Tech Tier coming up, like, here. And please clutch up. I will use Glue Strike here. And actually, that, that came in handy. Nice. All right, cool. B1111 with, like, four tier fours drops. Hey, okay, not gonna lie. This overclocked Tech Terror is, like, coming in super clutch. Look at the amount of pops it's got. Five, three million plus. It's funny that even after spending all the money on 111, I can actually almost afford another tier five in time for the bads. Okay, so I think for 117 here, the play is to Tech Terror everything and then save Sabo for 118. And I see, I actually cannot afford a uh, tier five, so never mind, I lied. So Sabo now. And I guess we'll just drop a bunch of towers down for 119, right? Yep, 36k to work with. So let's do one random. Okay, 130 Druid. Concoction. Come on. Nope. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do tier fours now. I'm getting a bit unlucky. And nope. Okay, this is a really bad draw. But if we lose, at least I can re redo them. Yeah, not gonna lie. I don't think I could have gotten a worse draw than that. And I think because of that, I lose. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get a better draw than that for this round, so... Please, a tier 5. Would be nice, thank you. Nope. Nope. Okay, this is rigged. I don't think this works either. Yep, doesn't work. Same. How about again? Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna retry that. Literally, I just see one strong tier 5. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All I need to do is ask and I shall receive. Everything else at this point is gravy, so we'll just see what we get. Eh. The rest aren't that great, but it's the Avatar Wrath. That's all we need. And now, let us finish this uh, Chimps game off. Please and things. I'll overclock the... Uh, yeah. Definitely overclock the Avatar Wrath instead. Wait for it. Overclock. And we should pop DTs here with Marine. Thanks. Actually, that's weird. How come this bad isn't popping? Yeah, maybe the Avatar Wrath is in a bad spot. Is this really not going to work? Okay, yeah, this is kind of sketchy. Hang on, I'm gonna Sabo. Holy crap, <laughs> it didn't work. Well, that's unlucky. Our new terms are not that great either. We have a Super Glue and a Crossroad Master, but I'll use another two of my upgrades on this guy. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have thrown away the Avatar Wrath. That was such a good, a good get. But, of course, I just had to. And as expected, I still cannot pop the bads. I need a, a Tier 5. Uh, okay, 10 rerolls later, and I got Total Transformation, which is actually not a terrible tower. Let's see how much it does with the Super Riddle combo. There's plenty of base monkeys to be transformed. Let's go. Put it on strong. And what do you think? Yeah, that's probably way faster. That's good, that's good. We can't blow this. Yeah, it's weird, though, because we have no... Okay, another transformation. We have the second bad popping very soon, which I will sabo for. And uh, we're good. I guess I'm saving tech tier for the very end. I'll just, uh, glue strike here for the Srams. And come on, this is so close to popping. Oh, I'm just short. Okay, well, I can't say I didn't try here, okay? Even if this pops were dead, right? Ah. Alright, time for another 10 rerolls to get lucky. Okay, 30 tries later, and I think I just got my best roll yet. Dark Champion Temple? And a Called Arms. Don't forget, the Called Arms is not global, so... You get 50% attack speed on literally everything here. And again, this thing you can target anywhere you want. So, I feel like this has got to be it. Yeah, do you see that? We popped the uh, first Zoom G or the first bat so early. This has got to do it. I love the Dark Champion, I guess, into... I guess it's stronger than the Tech Terror. Alright, here is bat number two, and uh, one more. We will just Tech Terror the bats, or should I uh, hang on? Yeah, let me tech tier the bads. Never mind. Or DTs. We're fine. And now we just have ZMGs. And holy crap. Uh, yeah, if I didn't allow myself to reset the rolls, then I pretty much lost that, that run. But there it is. 120 rounds of chimps beaten with only random Mystery Rock Towers. And allow myself to upgrade 
maybe one or two things. But that's it. And just like the other random Tower's mod, I give this one the seal of approval. Thanks for watching, see you later.